Szalom. Witam z medycznego centrum Shiba w Ramadganie. Jest to jeden z najlepszych szpitali na świecie. Znajduje się w pierwszej dziesiątce takich, w takim zestawieniu Newsweeka, trzeci rok z rzędu. Tutaj prowadzone są nowatorskie terapie w różnych dziedzinach i właśnie tutaj prowadzone są również badania na zespole medycznym, który przyjął szczepionkę jako pierwszy jeszcze w grudniu 2020 roku. I tutaj monitoruje się jej wpływ tej szczepionki na poziom przeciwciał, na samopoczucie i na ogólną ochronę i odporność, którą ta szczepionka powinna tym ludziom dawać. W ostatnich dniach pojawiła się informacja, że poziom przeciwciał dramatycznie spada po dwóch miesiącach od podania drugiej dawki i pomyślałam, że chciałabym tę informację sama z, zweryfikować i udałam się do właściwie jedynej osoby, która jest kompetentna w tym zakresie, czyli profesor Gili Regev Jochaj, która stoi na czele zespołu badającego szczepionkę i która zna dokładnie wyniki tych badań. Także będę jeszcze próbowała zapytać ją o wiele innych rzeczy. Zobaczymy, na ile nam pozwoli jej bardzo napięty grafik. Zapraszam. It's, uh, you know, more uh, a lot of noise that uh, was around and actually the story is much better than what it may have sounded. Uh, we are following 2,500 uh, healthcare workers working at the Shiba Medical Center. So these are mostly healthy people, healthy individuals who are uh, um, either physicians or administrators or nurses uh, uh, working at Shiba and they have been vaccinated and we are following their immune response, uh, mainly the antibody response actually. And what we saw is that very fast, immediately after the second dose, we see a really great increase in antibody uh, response, much higher than people who had COVID. Actually, exactly as expected, we see a, a drop of these antibodies because it was really extremely high. So even the drop after two months, we are still way above what uh, people who had COVID. There's no reason to worry. And right now it seems like, you know, this vaccine is still very effective. Dying, I'm, I'm not yeah. sure I even understand. <laughs> Dying because of the vaccine? Yes, there are. I, I, I'm yeah. sorry, but I have to call it fake news. It's totally fake news, not uh, slightly. People are dying because they don't take vaccine. Okay, not because they take the vaccine. We have right now in this uh, unit, one of our nurses who obviously took the vaccine and she tried to convince her parents to take the vaccine, but they uh, all the time looked in all kinds of media of fake news. Check. They all have COVID and eventually the two parents get hospitalized. They need oxygen. The father somehow gets out of it. The mother right now is in very, very severe condition in the intensive care unit. And right now it's not sure at all that she's going to get out of it. These are the stories that we have. And I think that these mRNA vaccines, which is what we're using here uh, in Israel, is, you know, it's an amazing technology. I think it's gonna make a big change in other uh, viruses, uh, probably. Uh, and the whole idea is that actually you're giving something very clean. And the, the most ridiculous thing that I don't understand is people who take other vaccines, okay? They go abroad, so they take the hepatitis, they take yellow fever, they take a lot of much more dangerous vaccines. But this vaccine, which is really clean, it's only giving the uh, uh, material for the cell to prepare this antigen to present it and get uh, vaccinated well. So obviously it's better to have a 90 or 95% effective uh, vaccine, but 78 is much above the, what we're used to. Typically, you know, we take vaccines that even 50%, uh, the influenza the vaccine, yeah. To ask, are you taking money from Pfizer? Yeah, some <laughs> okay, kind of, so right, that's, that's one of the fake news. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, whatever I'm doing for the vaccine, including this interview, is just to get people vaccinated because I know that this is going to change the world. So, thank you, thank you, good thank luck. You very much. <laughs> okay.